All right, I'm going to do a quick material sample for Peak Transformation Hierarchy Cultural Non-Arbitrary Pictures 10B. For this program, it's pretty simple. You're just going to need for materials for stimuli A, six images that belong to two categories where two images belong to both categories. Um, okay, so for this example, I'll just show you what we used for our train class one. We just used picture cards that we laminated. So we have a flamingo, a puffin, a turkey, a mouse, a fox, and a chicken. And so all of these are going to go into the animal category, but the turkey and the chicken are also foods. Okay, so that is the first set. The second train class, we did vehicles and toys. So we have a toy car and a toy helicopter, a bike, a car, an airplane, and a train. So they are all vehicles, but these two pictures are both. They are a vehicle and they are a toy. So you can see that we label those categories, animal and food, vehicle and toy, and stimuli B that match along. So again, we have puff and mouse, chicken, flamingo, turkey and fox, stimuli A, train class one. For stimuli B, the categories that correspond are animal and food. And then for train class two, plane, helicopter, the taxi, bike, train, car. And those are all vehicles and a toy. Okay, so then for test class, for Y, you are just going to need arbitrary symbols. So we just have a set here of eight, four being pink, four being blue. They could be any symbols. These are just the ones that we used. And so you'll have those sets as well. So those are the only materials you need. We took all of those. We laminated them. Um, we have them in individual bags so we know that this is stimuli Y, test two. We know that these vehicles are train class two. So that's how we typically organize the materials. Uh, and then for just kind of a quick run through, um, you have three blocks here. Train class is A to B. You're prompting, providing feedback, reinforcing. You're going to give the participant the six images. And you're going to say which belongs to vehicles. They should hopefully point to all or pick them all up. Which belong to toys? And they should pick these two. You're prompting, giving feedback, reinforcing. Um, but they need to answer both of those questions within one trial. So you're going to have two questions per trial. What belongs to Animals, what belongs to food? Trial one. What belongs to vehicle? What belongs to toy? Trial two. So you're going to ask um, those sequentially also. Test class, um, sorry, test block two is going to be B to A, where you're going to go through these images and you're going to show them what belongs, what does this belong to? 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 You go through all six images. Again, that is one trial. Um, so then for the third block, test Y to Z, you're going to mix the eight colored shapes of two different colors and your six pictures. You're gonna kind of mix them up. You're gonna hand them to the participant and you're gonna tell them match. Okay, again, you're testing. You're not providing any feedback, you're not prompting, you're not reinforcing, you're just testing to see if they can match or sort those into the proper categories. So that is just a quick material sample to look at this full-blown um, ran through in a demonstration and look at the scoring. You can pop over to our other video, but this is a quick material sample for peak transformation, cultural to non-arbitrary pictures, 10B.